आई एम समरेंद्र मोहंती आई एम फाउंडर प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ नानोस्कोप थेरापूटिक्स आई एम बाब मिनकाउस्की एंड आई एम अ बिजनेस एडवाइजर टू नानोस्कोप थेरापूटिक्स टेल अस अबाउट व्हाट यू आर वर्किंग ऑन एट नानोस्कोप थेरापूटिक्स सो वी हैव डेवलप्ड अ एंबिएंट लाइट सेंसिटिव मल्टी कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑप्शन व्हिच इज uh when it's inserted into patients uh, retinal cells who have degenerations uh, it's ambient light activable means at very low light intensity it generates uh, current which then transmits to the brain allowing them to see sense light and have vision we have done extensive uh, preclinical studies uh, in rodents and then in dogs and now moving to clinical studies we have already initiated outside us clinical studies Tell us about your current research on AMD. Now we are taking patients with uh, degeneration all over the retina, having no light perception at all, so that we can see significant improvement. And then later on, uh, people having geographic atrophy, especially dry AMD, we will be targeting this uh, optogenetic therapy to uh, degenerated geographic atrophic areas. So that will be in our second phase of study and. we have novel ways both viral and non viral way to deliver the genes uh, to the uh, targeted areas please explain this therapy more in depth yeah so it's basically requires a single intravitreal injection so we have uh, the opsin which is encoded into a gene and that gene once intravitreally injected goes to the targeted cells of for our case we are targeting bipolar cells then by once the gene goes inside the cells it expresses a protein so that protein goes to the cell membrane it's similar to like uh, having your solar cell panel on your house so when light falls it generate current or and or voltage which gets transmitted to the brain so that's how you can visualize the outside world uh, so that's uh, so we will be monitoring patients uh, so the effect will start you start getting effect in 4 to 6 weeks after injection and then it is supposed to last very long time how have the results in animal models been yeah so in our mice model of retinal degeneration so we found mice can not only navigate towards light in uh, different uh, radial water mice test but increase visual acuity we saw and uh, very robust expression of our protein or opsin in the retinal cells so results has been very pretty amazing and then we have finished the tox study in large animal also showing there is no toxicity limiting toxicity so that's why we started the clinical study our website is uh, www.nanostherapeutics.com and since now the study is being initiated outside us uh, so uh, that is supposed to end in another 6 months or so then we are planning towards the fall of this year to start in united states so patients in us can start getting enrolled after 6 months of our initial study completion in abroad I know Nanoscope has two divisions, the therapeutic side and the technology side. Is there anything from the technology side you'd like to talk about? Yeah, so in therapeutics we have uh, we have the product in once the technology is matured in Nanoscope technology is our like R&D engine, then we transfer the, we license it to Nanoscope Therapeutics and now it's in clinical trial, but we have upcoming new emerging technologies such as laser based gene delivery. so that one can target the genes to very specific areas and that one is being developed in nanoscope technologies with support from national eye institute uh, and other private investors so that's now also the study has been uh, done robust study in small animal and we are trying to move now to large animal and then 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 it will be licensed to the company which will translate for clinical application yeah that's a nice pathway from using the virus to uh place the gene to laser based gene delivery so uh, it's it's a, it's a great product portfolio and pipeline anything else you're working on that you'd like to share 
yeah, we, uh, we also have developed technology for uh, once you deliver the gene, uh, so how to know the gene has been delivered or not. If it does not have a reporter, then we have a technique by light OCT enable technique where it's a functional OCT by which we can measure the cellular activity, uh, whether the cells are being uh, delivered with the gene or not. So that we call it as functional OCT. So we have another wing also nanoscope instrument which we are commercializing this instrument for other gene therapy companies. They can evaluate the functioning of the cells after delivery of genes. So that will be a good outcome measure as the study progresses if the gene uh, is lasting long or not, not only from the patient's behavior but we can tell whether it's already existing in the eye and not functioning or uh, it's not there. So. So just to reiterate uh, what Dr. Mohanty said is that uh, Nanoscope Technologies is the parent company and uh, Therapeutics, Nanoscope Therapeutics will be doing the uh, uh, specific uh, virus based and gene based uh, delivery and then Nanoscope Instruments is the one that can do the various instruments for research and for clinical use. So they're very complementary to each other. and. I think it'll be help. It'll help a lot of researchers and a lot of clinics, and the therapeutic side help a lot of patients. Thank you both for sitting down with me today.